Hello and good afternoon. Thanks for tuning into this edition of the Hard Performers. In today's edition, we'll shed some light on Linus Rare Earths and its shares. Shares of the company closed lower by 0.466% at 8.53 on Tuesday, following the broader market trends. The ASX 200 closed 3.55% lower, and the ASX 200 Materials Index also slipped 4.4% yesterday. Meanwhile, today, the trend has been different for Linus Rare Earths as its shares were up 4.45%, trading at 8.92 in the afternoon. The index is still seeing a broader sell-off during the afternoon session today, trading down by 0.36%. And now let's take a look at some of the latest updates made by the company. Linus shared on the 14th of June that it signed a contract with the U.S. Department of Defense. A wholly owned subsidiary of Linus, Linus USA, has inked a follow-on contract with the Pentagon for $120 million U.S. dollars. Linus will be establishing a heavy rare earths element separation facility in Texas and an operating footprint across the country. On the other hand, the U.S. industry will gain access to rare heavy earths which are produced domestically. And these elements cannot be sourced at the moment as they're essential for developing a strong supply chain for industries like wind turbines, electric vehicles and electronics. Now, Linus is an ASX-listed company with expertise in rare earth ore exploration, extraction and processing across Australia and Malaysia. The company operates the largest single rare earth processing unit in Malaysia, and the produce at the country is exported to manufacturing markets in the U.S., Europe and across Asia. Looking at Linus's share price performance now in the opening session, the company's shares were trading at 8.65, up 0.73 percent. Its shares have risen by around 58 percent over the past year, but is still down 2.3 over the past six months. Then, on a year-to-date basis, the company's shares are down nearly 19 percent, while over the past month, its stock has gained a moderate 0.79. Linus's five-year stand gains rather stands at over 858 percent. And its 52-week high is at 11.59, while its low stands at 5.26. Now, before we wrap up, here is a quick update on the high-performing stocks of the afternoon session on the ASX. Starting with Australian agribusiness GrainCorp, which is gaining 4.29%, and multinational insurance company Insurance Australia Group, better known as IAG, up as well 3.59. And then the financial services company EML Payments is trading up 3.54%. And the largest share registry business in the world, ComputerShare, was posting gains of 3.4%. And that is a wrap on the hot performers. Tune in next time for more on the Uncalcine TV. I'm Holly Shields signing off.